And so uh, perhaps we start off, um, Dr. Batar, maybe you can talk uh, a little bit about yourself and, and some of the issues that you've been talking about for the past four weeks. And then maybe we can just start off with some of the questions uh, surrounding the things that we've been told, whether it's um, you know the, the exact correct death count of COVID-19 deaths, the face masks, the social distancing. I'd love to really get this panel involved and get their thoughts. So um, maybe I'll just have you just kind of start off, You know, what have you been talking about these last few weeks and what are you seeing out there uh, that needs to be addressed by this panel? I think that the biggest issue that I wanna make sure that the world understands is the predictive nature of what has been stated as back as far back as 2017 that there was going to be this pandemic that there's no way that somebody could have predicted that unless they had some inside knowledge of a release of some type of a pathogenic pandemic potential chimeric derivative type pathogen there's no way you can predict that if you can't predict the market tomorrow or the next day you can't predict the lottery numbers a week out how can you predict if there's going to be a pandemic? And those people that say that they're models and that are predictive models, believe me, if we could predict stuff like that, then the world would be a much, much better place for all of humanity. But the answer is you can't make those type of predictions. And now they've got the second wave of COVID-19 that they're predicting. And I want to make sure that the world understands what is really getting ready to happen. Because as people are allowed to come back into society, their immune systems are already going to have been suppressed because of the wearing of the mask, which is going to increase cortisol levels. It's going to put people into a pseudo hypoxic state. They're having to suck oxygen through a mask. It drives the cortisol levels up, which then creates a sympathetic mimetic drive. It suppresses the lymphocyte subpopulation, decreases the immune system, and renders an individual more susceptible to any type of pathogen, whether it be bacteria, virus, spirochete, mycoplasma, yeast, parasite, whatever. So that's the first component when people start coming back into society their immune systems are going to be more vulnerable. Plus the fact that they've been stressed out emotionally, financially, psychologically, staying at home, coming back out, their, their bodies are gonna be under duress, under stress, and so they're going to be more susceptible to any pathogen. That's the first part. The second part, since we're on an uncensored platform, second part is there is new technology that's being rolled out called 5G. The implications of that technology are not fully understood, but there have been over 2,000 studies done showing how that technology suppresses the immune system. So we've got a massive issue, that potential issue, where the immune system is going to be further damaged, distraught, uh, suppressed because of this technology. And then the third component is people are going to come running out wanting the vaccine because they're so petrified. And so there are going to be certain people that are going to get vaccines. And of course, it's not going to be mandated but they're gonna get sick when they get the vaccines. So they're gonna have three different causes of people getting sick. That is going to be attributed to the second wave of COVID-19 and under pretense of public safety, they will then mandate that it, vaccines must become mandatory. And that's what I wanna make sure that the world is aware of, that agenda. <laughs> 